Thank you, Sarah. Our weekend is already shaping up to be a stormy one, and we're keeping a close eye on weather conditions and water levels. KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark Smith is joining us live from Ornoco. Travis, you're near Alice Park. Tell us how is the water looking there? Hey Jess, um, you know, when I was here right after midday, you know, the river was not quite as angry as what you're seeing behind me now, but we were looking at some debris that is floating by from upstream and as it makes its way downstream, it is actually collecting over here on this island in the middle of the river. and. We are just, it's currently dry right now. There's no rain falling, but we are continuing to monitor that all that rain that is going to be heading this way. And that rain has nowhere to go other than into these rivers. And this river actually flows into the Mississippi. So that will, of course, cause further flooding in Wabasha, where we just saw Evan. Now, I did speak to the National Weather Service in La Crosse, Dan Baumgart there, and he had some tips for folks that live along the river. Anyone that has river concerns should be extra vigilant for the next 48 hours uh, and, and look where the rain fell uh, and, and be ready to take action. So, of course, we do have this flash flooding concern very early on that we've been dealing with over the last couple of hours. And then, of course, the rivers will continue to rise as we go through the weekend. Now, your KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologists will be monitoring this throughout the weekend and providing everybody with the updates they need. Jess, back to you. Hey, Travis, and did the National Weather Service share any other just impactful advice you think it's good that we all know? Uh, now, Jess, they did tell me that they we are looking at the threat to shift from southeast Minnesota into North Iowa as we go through the overnight hours. So folks in North Iowa will definitely need to be vigilant before they go to bed tonight. Be way, be, have ways to get weather warnings. Watch out for those flash flood warnings as we go through the night. All right. Good advice. Thank you so much, Travis. And stay with us as we continue our Storm Team 3 coverage throughout our evening newscasts.